And I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you to uh, what we've been sort of calling our Christmas extravaganza. Uh, it is a little bit more than just a children's Christmas pageant because we have uh, our children and our youth and some adults uh, involved as well as our, our <coughs> adult choir and our worship team. Uh, so now I would just uh, invite you to sit back and relax and enjoy Away from the Manger. A long, long time ago, a baby named Jesus was born in a manger in Bethlehem. I'm sure you've all heard quite a bit about Jesus' birth before. You know that there were shepherds and wise men and stars and barn animals around when he was born? That's quite a list. But there really weren't many there when you think about it. You think that the whole world would have shown up for the birth of its savior. We hear a lot about the people and animals that went to the manger. Let's find out about the ones that stayed away. Hello over there. Um, pardon me, folks. Nice day, isn't it? Yo, you guys. Say, so aren't you people shepherds? Yep. So did you go to Bethlehem to see the baby? No. Nope. But I thought there were supposed to be shepherds there. That must have been some other shepherds. Yep. yep. Well, why didn't all of you go? What's that? A union contract? Yep. Let me see what it says. Ahem, 
Shepherd's Union Local Number 404, Minimum Acceptable Working Conditions. Article 5. No shepherd of Union Local 404 shall be required under any circumstances to venture more than one hour's distance from his or her usual field abiding. The aforementioned shepherd may venture further if he or she so chooses, but only if the weather isn't cold, the sheep aren't sick, and he or she really feels like it. <laughs> Let me see if I've got this straight. You didn't go to see the baby because it's not in your job description, is that right? Yep. <laughs> you guys don't take many risks, do you? Nope. <laughs> Guess you never get hurt that way, but you missed out on a really big event. Article 6. No shepherd of Union Local 404 shall be required under any circumstances to answer a lot of nosy questions from a complete stranger. A couple of questions maybe, but not too many. Guess they missed seeing the baby because they were too afraid to change their routine. I guess we're all afraid to change sometimes. <laughs> are you the are you the three wise men? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, uh, we're wise guys. Absolutely. No question about it. So, you're the ones who went to see the baby in Bethlehem, and you brought him gold, frankincense, and myrrh, right? Uh, no, actually, uh, we were a bit, uh, tied up at the time, right, boys? Tied up? Uh, yes. You see, there was a very important scholarly conference that we absolutely had to attend. Incredibly important. Incredibly important. Wouldn't have missed it, actually. It was what you might call an intellectual milestone. What was the conference about? I can't say that I remember exactly. But it was a very important conference. Say, what was that conference about anyway? Hmm. Oh, oh, oh wait, I remember. It was, uh... Celestial signs that will indicate the birth of the Messiah. Uh, theoretical and technical aspects. That was it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Good of you to remember. <laughs> Celestial signs. Does that mean stars and things like that? Yeah, yeah. You must be a well-educated person. So, you must have spent a lot of time looking through telescopes. Well, no. Um, the conference was inside. Inside. There, there weren't even windows in the conference room. I made it easier to see the slides. We were slides. quite busy all slides. Quite busy all week. I didn't get a chance to go outside at all. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. So you didn't see the star. What, what star? star? The huge star up in the sky. Some other wise men followed it to a manger in Bethlehem. 
They say they saw the Christ child. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Look, the star guided theory, uh, that's never been proven. Very scanty evidence. Very scanty <laughs> evidence. Are you sure it wasn't a rainbow? Many of the more influential wise men say that the sign will be a rainbow. Yeah, the star directed theory, that's definitely out. Now, now the rainbow theory, that's much more credible. I personally fear the lightning bolt theory. So <laughs> dramatic. But you missed the baby. Couldn't have been the right baby. The star theory is out. Inconceivable. Couldn't be. Yes, the lightning bolt theory is interesting. I was just talking about it with a friend just the other day. But, but let's not forget the meteor shower theory. Ah, uh, the meteor shower theory. A bit overrated, if you ask me. Too vague. Indeed. Well, it seems three, these three wise men were too preoccupied with their theories to notice the coming of the Christ child. Ideas can get in the way sometimes, especially if you really like them. Oh, no. 
Speaking of stars, I'll bet you didn't know that the star over the major was actually supposed to be a whole bunch of stars of all different sizes. Kind of like a firework display. But some of the stars chickened out at the last minute. That looks like them over there. You are some of the best looking stars I've ever seen. But then, I've never really seen a star up close before. You must be young stars. That's why you're so bright. So, did you start shine for the baby in Bethlehem? Were you sick that day? Did your mom and dad make you stay home? Did you fall from the sky? Do you have to stay inside at night? Was it too cold out for stars? So then, why didn't you start shine for the baby in Bethlehem? Because we were too shy. Could you say that a little louder? Because we were too shy. Oh, I see. I guess we know why the stars didn't go. They were too shy. Can it be? Is one of the stars going to talk to us? None of us had the courage, but one of our sisters did go to the manger. I never thought I'd get out of those shops alive. I've never in my whole life seen so many people. Pardon me, but it seems like you've had a very busy day. Busy, busy, honey. When you're an innkeeper's wife, you're always busy. But you're right, today was especially bad. Why is that? There's just a lot to do, that's why. I've had to buy gifts for all the relatives, his family, and mine. I've had to buy this turkey and all the stuff I did with it. 
and all these decorations. And that's not the end of it. Oh no. Now I have to wrap all these presents and clean and stuff this bowl. <laughs> and put up all these dumb decorations. On top of that, I've got an inn that's crammed to overflowing with the holiday travel crowd. Busy? Honey, right now I've got a busyness degree. So you and your husband run this inn, is that right? Yeah, that's right. It was very nice of him to let that pregnant woman stay in the barn. There's a pregnant lady in the barn? Well, not anymore. She's had the baby. Oh, brother. Maybe you can go out and see it sometime. Now you listen here, Bustle. I've got no time to spend coochie cooing some little baby. But this is a special baby. Bustle, they're all special. Is this baby going to help me with all this work? Well... Of course not. It's the holiday season, and I've got no time to spend with that baby. Interesting, isn't it? She's got the Messiah in her backyard and she hasn't got any time to see him. <coughs> Some other barn animals will get closer to the baby Jesus than she will. Some of her barn animals, but not all of them. So you were right there in the barn when baby Jesus was born? No. You weren't inside the barn at all? No. Why didn't you go inside to see the baby? We're not good enough to see the baby. But some of the other animals went inside. We're not good enough to see the baby. Nobody's good enough to see the baby, but someone to see him anyway. We're not good enough to see the baby. But you don't have to be good. The baby was born because none of us are good. We're not good enough to see the baby. <laughs> Thank you. 
I guess you get the picture. The barn animals just didn't think they were good enough to see the Christ child. So many stayed away. Some of the barn animals, a few shepherds, several wise men, most of the stars, even the innkeeper's wife. We all have a choice. Will we go to the manger? Or will we have a reason to stay away from the manger? We invite you to come to the manger.